Bad Blood is coming up this weekend, Atlanta, Georgia, and there are three matches. Three matches that could absolutely main event this show. And a lot of fans out there have been debating which match deserves to close the show. Which match deserves to actually be the main event because there can only be one main event. And the three matches I'm talking about, the three matches I'm referring to are the Women's World Championship match between Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan with Dirty Dominic, Dominic Mysterio hanging above the ring in a shark tank or a shark cage, not, not a shark tank. The high stakes tag team match between current WWE champion, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, tagging with his rival, the OTC, the tribal chief himself, Roman Reigns, the one true tribal chief, against the Bloodline 2.0, Jacob Fatu, Solo Sokoa, in a tag team match, or... The Hell in a Cell match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. And frankly, I'm going to take one out of the discussion right now. And that one is the Women's World Championship match. Simply because, in terms of pure... Hatred, pure rivalry between two parties. I think Punk and McIntyre have Morgan and Ripley beat. So based off of that, Punk and McIntyre already overcomes or surpasses the importance of these two rivalries. Of one of them actually main eventing the show. So I'm taking Ripley versus Morgan out of the out of the discussion. Nothing against it. Again, there's a lot of matches here that can main event the show. Uh, Ripley versus Morgan won't be the one to actually do it. So let's get into the actual discussion of the two contenders that can main event this match. Can main event this show, excuse me. A lot of people are not happy about the idea of the bloodline versus Reigns and Rhodes main event in the show, which is a very high possibility. It can <coughs> absolutely happen. It can absolutely happen. Why? I know a lot of fans out there don't like Solo Sokoa. They haven't been okay with him betraying himself as the leader of the bloodline, but hey, he's a heel. That's what he's supposed to do. You're... We're, we we live in in the current era where well fans love baby faces because they're fantastic wrestlers and fans love heels because they're cool and they don't think Solo Sokoa is cool they don't think Solo Sokoa can pull off the fact that he's the leader of the bloodline but guess what he's a heel you're not supposed to like him much like what three four or five years ago when, or even more when WWE was pushing Baron Corbin as a, as a top heel. I didn't like it. I don't. I, I. I've never been a fan of Baron Corbin, but hey, he's a heel. It works. The same thing here. But you gotta understand the the drama, the tension that reigns and roads the past two main events of WrestleMania teaming together to face off against the threat that Roman Reigns himself created. That's enough to put this in discussion as the main event of Bad Blood. On top of that, Cody Rhodes, he's the current undisputed WWE Champion. He should always be in discussion as to whether or not he should main event a show. On top of that, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, the top star in WWE and pro arguably pro wrestling over the past four or five years... Popular as hell. People want to see him. People pay attention. 
He's a household name. He's gotten to the point that he does not need a world championship anymore to command his aura, his presence, his place on that card. And they're teaming together, two former rivals, teaming together in a main event tag team match. That's enough to put it in discussion. That's enough to put it up against a feud, a rivalry that's been running for about nine long, very entertaining, very hatred-fueled months between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. And I'm an old school fan. Absolutely. I think Punk, McIntyre, Hell in a Cell, actual bad blood between these two men, that should be the main event of the show. If it were up to me, I'd put Punk and McIntyre right there in that slot to end the show. But you can't deny the merit. You can't deny the hierarchy that Rhodes and Reigns command in today's WWE. And there's a high chance that either of these matches could make them at the show. And to be honest, it's a matter of semantics. One of them is not going to make them at the show. The other one is. So overall... You got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. You got a 50-50 chance of getting it wrong. And to be honest, the only thing that matters is, is it a good show? Is it a good match? As simple as that. And does it give itself to how the show plays out? Again, my choice, bad blood, hell in a cell. I mean, it's it's hell in a cell. It's a devil's playground. It's a, it's, it's a stipulation that ends feuds, ends rivalries. Like that. That should main event the show. Rhodes, WWE Champion. Reigns, absolute top star in the company. No doubt about it, bar none. It's pretty obvious why we're still not very clear on who, or, or which match actually, is going to end up main eventing this show. So with that said, what are your thoughts on Bad Blood coming up this weekend? Do you think... The tag team match is going to main event the show. Do you think the Hell in a Cell match should main event the show? Maybe you think somebody else should main event the show. Nobody wins. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in the comments section below. Apologies for uh, not uh, uploading a video on Friday. Uh, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Recuperated to the point enough that I could be back here for today's uh, episode, for today's video. So with that said, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your patience. My name is Alexis Corbio. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.